Elon Musk should be casted as the next Captain America because this guy claims to be the greatest endorser of freedom, even if that freedom gets you in trouble with the law. Because some of the things Elon's Grok 3 AI is capable of is actually illegal and in some cases pretty messed up. But before I examine these terrifying possibilities, let's take a look at what Elon's intentions were with the Grok 3 AI. Grok 3 is an updated large language model that was designed by Elon Musk's AI company XAI. And Grok is supposed to be able to compete with other LMMs such as OpenAI's ChatGPT, Google's Gemini, and DeepSeek. So to ensure it lives up to the hype, Grok 3 was trained by the Colossus supercomputer in Memphis, Tennessee, aka the official largest supercomputer in the world. And just to give you an idea of how big this supercomputer actually is, it has 200,000 of the most efficient AI GPU in the world. Not to mention that it currently uses up so much electricity that it can power 62,500 homes. Notice how I said currently. That's because Elon wants to double the size of this supercomputer. So eventually the Colossus supercomputer will consume as much electricity as 125,000 homes. Basically this supercomputer is going to need its own power grid. Okay, so since Elon has spent some big bucks on this AI, it's got to be one of the best, right? Well, yeah, besides OpenAI's O3, Grok3 seems to be the most dominant LLM in math, science, and coding. And when you take a look at Grok3's features, you can see why. The first feature being deep search. This allows you to conduct an advanced search to look for specific information on the internet or help you find information from specific websites. A feature like this would be extremely helpful if you're trying to research a specific topic and you don't have time to go browsing through websites to find the information that you need. Another feature that comes with Grok3 is the big brain mode. I know it sounds a little bit like brain rot, but trust me, it's not. When this feature is selected, Grok3 will give you a more detailed answer. This is very useful if you're trying to accomplish a complex task such as coding a video game. And of course, there is the think feature, which is basically the simpler version of the big brain mode and this is used for simpler tasks such as answering questions or problem solving. The think mode will probably be the most used feature as many people use LLMs to quickly answer questions or problems so they don't have to scour the internet for hours like a maniac. But you're probably wondering how much dough you're going to have to dish out for this bad boy and the answer seems to be $30 a month or $300 a year which may not sound like a lot but this $30 would just be for something called Super Grok, which is basically what gives you access to the advanced features that I just talked about. This means that in order to get all of the best parts of Grok 3, you'll have to pay $30 a month for Super Grok on top of the $40 a month that you have to pay for access premium tier to access the basic Grok 3. So basically, you're going to have to pay around $70 a month, but at least it's still cheaper than ChatGPT's Pro version. So after hearing all all of this, Grok3 probably sounds like it'll power through the competition, except for the fact that using it in the wrong way could literally put you in jail. You see, Elon wanted Grok3 to be optimized for maximum truth seeking. This means that some of the stuff that is generated by Grok3 may not be politically correct. Now, some of this stuff can be silly things like, what if Michael Jordan became a McDonald's Hall of Famer instead of the GOAT of basketball? But the other stuff stuff can be straight out of someone's nightmares. Like for example, Taylor Swift making out with bad boy Elon Musk. And just to clarify, generating false images of any public figure is considered illegal in almost every part of the world. But what's even worse about Grok3 is that its disregard for being politically correct actually allows users to generate extremely offensive responses. And if you live in a country where free speech is limited or non-existent, then then you are at a high risk of being put behind bars. So a word of advice, if you do end up using Grok3, don't type a prompt that will get you in trouble because Elon's AI will do whatever it takes to uphold your right to free speech, no matter what.